Okay, I'm just going to pour it in because I always do it by eye, yeah? but it's 25, 25 grams to 200 as well. So just basically putting them both together, okay, and just whisking it slightly. Okay. So that's going to be the sauce for the red snapper. Here we've got cauliflower, one cauliflower in there chopped up. It's very, very simple to make a cauliflower puree. Cover the top up with milk and bring it to the boil, then leave it to simmer with the lid on as well. Okay. I've got the red snapper. Okay, I've already filleted it down and I've taken the skin off the back of it as well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the cumin seeds you actually buy, you toast them down and just ground them down as well. If you haven't got a machine to ground them, you can chop them with your knife, okay? Okay, here we've got some clarified butter. Okay. Uh, you can make the clarified butter in a pan, <coughs> which is just cooking very, very slowly. You let the butter separate from the milk inside of the butter contents, okay? Okay, so you're sprinkling it just with the roasted, uh, the ground cumin, right? Yep, just okay. it's the cumin that I've grounded off, made it into powder form, just sprinkle it lightly with that. Let's just use the, the rolling pin, roll it very flat. Basically rolling both of the sheets together. Let's cut all the way down and I'm going to cut it into triangles. Okay, we're going to put them in the oven as well. Which is about 160, 170 degrees. It's raw cauliflower that's been cut down into little florets. Okay. What I'm doing is gently putting some uh, sea salt in there as well and mixing the cumin and the cauliflowers together, okay? okay. So I'm just mixing the tempura flour together with the water. Okay, I'm just going to mix it in with the, the tempura. So I'm just placing all the cauliflower beignets in. Okay, we're just cooking the cauliflower so they get a nice light golden brown colour because we're actually going to flash them through the oven to reheat them when I do it later on. I'm just taking them all out now. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put the fish in the pan. Okay, it's just lightly seasoned the fish. What I'm doing with the fish, I'm just going to sear it off and we're going to finish it in the oven. All right, the cauliflower puree is ready now. So I'm getting a nice colour across the front of the snapper as well, just to sear it. 200 degrees set in the oven at the moment. Here, we're going to finish off the cauliflower puree. It's just the cauliflower inside the liquidizer. I'm putting a tiny bit of the liquid in there as well to, to help to liquidize it. And just add in some fleur de sel sea salt inside. Okay, you can just take the cauliflower out and put it in a pot to us. And we're going to plate up the fish dish very, very shortly. The fish is actually almost finished in the oven. So I'm just going around in a nice spiral shape. Yeah, I'm just putting the cauliflower on the plate. There's a little bit of salad on there. Three of the cauliflower beignets. There's the red snapper. Just cooked it slightly translucent on the inside. Spring roll and cumin crisp. Already finished. Very simple for you to do at home as well. All right, thank you.